guys and welcome back to another video on my channel i hope everyone's having a fantastic day today today we are going to continue the battle of the bachelor challenge over here we have our final seven contestants in the last episode we did get rid of our first contestant um, I'm not going to spoil anything straight away, so if you haven't watched that, then please go watch that video before you watch this one so that you're caught up to see what's been happening. Everybody here is pretty miserable, which, not going to lie, that's a good thing. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave the game running a little bit on super speed uh, to make sure that everybody's needs get lowered down a little bit more because that is going to benefit us for the next challenge. It's a little bit cruel, um, there's a few accidents happening in this bathroom because no one wants to use the bathroom while everyone's there. But for the purpose of this next challenge, it is going to definitely benefit us if everybody's needs are a little bit lowered down. Right, we are having everybody get ready for the next challenge. Everybody is in their rooms except for Luigi over there taking his sweet time. There we go. Alright, all contestants are at the starting line. For this challenge, we are going to be doing an obstacle course. And the goal is to get to the end. So, basically, the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to go by room. All contestants will be starting in this room and they will make their way through the maze. As they make their way to the next room, for example, if Lynn over here goes into this area, this door will then be locked and therefore this room will be out of bounds. The same thing if he goes into the next room, which would be the maze, this door would be locked, which means everything in this room would be off access. The main objective is to go to the end room over here and to put the rubber ducky in the toy chest. Um, this is something I think that they can do automatically, so that will be the best way to tell who wins. Now, you might be asking yourself, why have all of these random items over here when the simple goal is just to get to the end of the room? Well. The goal for all of these random items is to be different distractions and as you can see everybody's needs are pretty low down. Most of their needs are a little bit worse than some of the other ones. Let's just roll with the dice. Um, some of them took care of their needs while the other people were still busy in the previous competition and I probably should have managed that better but I didn't. Let's say Flynn over here wants to get his fun up so he decides he's going to spend some time in the hot tub. That then gives somebody else the time to move over to the next room. In these different rooms, we have a hot tub, a bonsai tree, some benches to sit down. We have a stereo shelf, drawing pad, TV, another sofa, workout machines, violin, bath, easel, guitar. In this maze, we have a few essential items, which I'm pretty sure a few of the sims would use. We have a grill over here for those hungry sims. And in order to actually make the food, they're going to have to put it down afterwards on this countertop which means they go make their way back through the maze we also have a toilet over here and no one right now is desperate for the toilet um because most of them wet themselves <laughs> but if anyone were to be desperate to use the bathroom they would have to go all the way through the maze to go to the bathroom and most likely all the way back through the maze to wash their hands before going to the next room over here, we have a basketball hoop as a distraction, as well as a bar if anyone wants to sit and have a drink. There is also a very comfortable bed, which I think will be a very tempting offer. In the final room, not only do we have the award-winning ducky, but we also have a place for Sims to meditate, dance, an archaeology desk, which I'm pretty sure no one's going to use automatically. Um, but we also have a telescope as well as a microphone. Like I said, the last sim to put the rubber ducky in the chest is going to be eliminated. Now, not only will there be one elimination at the end of this round, but there will be two eliminations at the end of this round. So, the last two sims to make it through the maze will be at risk for elimination. We are going to press play in 3, 2, 1. Let the games begin. Few moments later. It might help to turn on autonomy now that I think about it because I turned that off to make life easier for me. There we go. Now let the games begin. Oh, somebody is on the move. We have Rip on the move. He is going to have a bath. That means he is in the second room and this door is officially locked. Oh, next up we have Havle over here. Door has also locked for him. We have Harbor asleep in the bathtub. Rip is now playing some guitar for us, which means he is still in the second room. And Brynjolf actually went straight for the food, which means he is the furthest in the maze in room number three. Over here we have Neville, who is in room number two, taking a bath. And 
I stand corrected. Flynn Fairway is actually the furthest in the maze, right on the fourth room, taking a snooze in the good bed. Now, even though he is in the lead, this gives the other people a chance to catch up, seeing as he is asleep. Luigi is taking a bath in the hot tub, which seems like a very Luigi thing to do, and Rip is actually also going to bed, which means this door is now... Oh, he went back, but that is against the rules. You have entered this room. You are stuck in this room. Where did Rip go? He had teleported. There we go. Rip is now in the final room, and we have another contestant going through the maze, which means I'm going to be locking this door, and will he go all the way? No, he will not. We also have Brynjolf over here. Neville seems to be rather hungry. Well, good thing there is a grill here for you. There we go. Neville is making his way to the grill, which is going to take a little bit of time. Now, will Brynjolf go through the next door or will he stay here? That is the question. Looks like we have another member in the maze, which means that is going to be getting locked up tight. At the start, we still have Harbour and Luigi taking a nap in the hot tub very bad idea it is very possible they are both going to be the last people to go through the maze and therefore the first people eliminated Brynjolf over here instead of taking a sleep which he desperately needs he's now deciding to play a few hoops which to be fair you do what you gotta do we have Rip Grant over here in the main area uh, he doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything and Pavle has just entered the fourth area no one is in the last room just yet and there are four people nope i stand corrected there are five people in the last room and they are all tied tied in first place we have flynn neville brynjolf pavle and rip and way in the beginning we have luigi and harbour actually i stand corrected harbour is now overtaking luigi going straight into the third room for the maze this is luigi's cue to get out of the hot tub but he seems to be enjoying it too much apparently my love is not enough to get him out of this hot tub he is living the dream over here looks like luigi is in the mood to get some food he's going to be zooting all the way to the third room which is the maze anytime now most of the contestants have decided to go to sleep which i completely understand this is actually going to be a good opportunity for luigi and harbour to zoot up into the lead um, considering they haven't already taken their naps, which means they might completely avoid the bed and go straight to the last room. Rip is still just standing here, which worries me. I think he's stuck. He says he's exhausted and there's a beautiful bed right here, but he's not taking advantage of it, which is very disappointing. His knees are extremely low and he actually has two different equipment in this room to help take care of his knees but he's not taking advantage of it i am worried rip is stuck rip has passed out okay rip to rip guys rip to rip and over here we have luigi in the fourth room and do we have harbor no harbor is still just standing in the maze rip is awake after being passed out and he has decided to take a nap in the bed which is a good idea um, I do think that he was stuck somehow and unfortunately there's nothing I can really do to help him. And we have Harbour who has decided to go for a proper sleep. Not gonna lie, a little bit disappointing because he did have a huge chance of being in the lead but he's decided not to take it. Luigi, he's just being Luigi but don't count him out yet. Every time I count him out he gets right back up. So there is still hope that Luigi might win this overall. And who wouldn't want to have a bachelor with those beautiful blue eyes? We have Flynn and Rip just standing around. It looks like Rip actually stole the guitar from the second room, which technically isn't against the rules. He's just going to sit here and play guitar, which might get his fun up a little bit. But at the same time, that is a big distraction and a big hindrance. So I have decided to go into builder buy mode because I'm actually a little bit concerned that the dance floor might be stopping the door from opening. Um, I don't think that is what's happening. I think it's possible that there's just not enough fun items for people to use in here. Um, I don't know if people can... People can't even use the telescope. My bad. They can practice singing but I don't know if they can do that autonomously. Right, I took a quick sentence on everybody's needs and they are all pretty bad. 
one thing that it seems like some people do need is a toilet and considering that most of them already went before coming into the maze a lot of them skip that step so i'm going to put a toilet in here and see who is tempted to make it to the final room it seems as though everybody is hungry but luckily luigi was clever and he actually brought his food with him such a classic luigi move oh two people are going towards the door and our first person in the room is Pavle. <gasps> he has the rubber duck guys and he's looking at it Pavle has put away the rubber duck which means he is the first person to complete the challenge he is safe from elimination congratulations Pavle I am going to unlock all of the doors for him in order to go back out uh, it seems as though we have Brynjolf in here as well, who just used the bathroom, which means I'm going to lock this door for Brynjolf. And Luigi has decided to take a giant dump in the last room, which is perfectly okay, because that means he is now locked in this room and has a higher chance of putting the ducky away. Looks like Flynn is making his way to the final room to use the bathroom, which means this door is officially locked and he can't go back. Neville has gone straight for the rubber ducky and that makes him the second person to conquer the obstacle course and makes him safe from tonight's elimination neville is going on to the next stage we are missing a player rip is actually still taking a nap on the bed missing all of the action if he doesn't wake up soon he will most likely be eliminated now remember in this episode we are eliminating two players i'm sorry the last two players to come in this obstacle course will be eliminated but it's does not seem harbor was really close to putting away and he has the rubber ducky and harbor has put away the rubber ducky in three two one maybe he has put away the rubber ducky which means harbor is safe from the boat and he is going on to the next course Right, we have four players left in this game and four rubber duckies left as well. Neville seems happy. He's happy that he's back. Oh, we have our next safe contestant, which is Brynjolf. Brynjolf is busy putting away the rubber ducky, which means he is safe from elimination and he is going to be moving on to the next round. Fantastic. Well done, Brynjolf. Air claps for you. That leaves only three players left. The next person to pick up the rubber ducky and put them away is safe from tonight's elimination. We have Luigi, Rip and Flynn all fighting for that final spot. And by fighting I mean standing and doing nothing at all. Just looking rather sad. If you put away the rubber ducky, you're gonna feel better honey. Rip is actually still in this room not doing anything which is a little bit concerning. And we have Flynn, who has been here for a really long time. Rip has decided that he's going to have some fun shooting hoops. He does not need to go after the rubber ducky just yet. He is really risking time right now as the others just kind of stand by and wait. I think they do not understand the assignment. I am going on three times the speed and nothing is happening, which is quite concerning. Much later. Right, I decided to, to make the arena a little bit smaller because maybe there's too much stuff on the lot and so that's why nobody's doing anything. Um, it doesn't seem to be helping. I'm just gonna reset them all one more time. This is very frustrating. Somebody please get the rubber ducky. You know what? I can't be bothered to wait any longer. Much, much late. Right, we are back and our final three contestants refused to get the rubber ducky, so I decided to give them a brand new challenge. Right, so over here we have a water maze and at different points of this water maze is different objectives that each character needs to do. Firstly, each character needs to go and repair this mini TV that is broken over here. The only way you are able to do that is by following a C-shaped path. Next, Sims are going to have to repair this broken stereo, which means they are going to have to go back through the water maze, go all the way around and into the area to fix this area. Lastly, when both of the items is fixed, they are going to have to finish off the water maze by going all the way around and they are going to have to take a steamy bath and hopefully get the floaty trait. Now, I'm not sure if Sims will be able to do this autonomously, so I am going to lay out the course for them. For example, over here we have Rip. 
I am going to tell them to first repair the TV, then repair the stereo, then take a flirty shower. And I am going to be doing that with all of the contestants. Obviously, I want to make this as fair as possible. So if I told one person to do something and didn't do that for everybody else, it wouldn't really work the way it's supposed to. Now we just see who is going to be the first person to either complete the challenges or who's going to be the first person to die because if you die, you are eliminated. Right, all three men have started the water maze and they are swimming their way there. Over here, it looks like Luigi is actually in first place, but just by a split second. Everybody looks to be pretty tense, which fair enough. Luigi has started fixing the TV. Now, I do want to say they are uncomfortable. There is a huge chance that they are going to get dazed. I am not going to give anyone the dislikes or likes because I feel that might give them an unfair advantage or disadvantage. Luigi has given up and he is going to the stereo. That will not do. I am going to cancel the shower and tell him to go back and attempt to repair it again. Looks like no one completed it, which is rather disappointing. I will not have this. Um, Rip actually ignored what I asked him to do, which, whoopsie, my bad. Flynn also ignored what I had to do completely. Looks like none of them are repairing any of the things I told them to. Repair it. Repair it. <laughs> repair it. Right, looks like Rip is the first person to complete their upgrade. Uh, so is Luigi, so I'm going to pause to give it a fair time and send them both to the next stage. Looks like Flynn has given up once again, so I'm going to tell him to continue. Both Luigi and Rip are the first people done, which means they are going to be sent straight to the showers. Sadly, none of them died, which would have been a little bit fun to watch, but that's okay. I think Flynn is going to be out of the competition. He is just way too far behind and right now it is just luigi and rip competing to see who stays in the game first on the podium is luigi and he is heading towards the shower i'm going to be hovering over him to see if he gets the flirty traits there's no hope for flynn right now but rip actually got out of the shower which is going to cost him valuable seconds i'm going to tell him to take a shower again straight away and i think this is it folks i think luigi is about to win the only thing Rip can do is pray for a miracle and stay in the bloody shower. But it seems as though he is passing out, which actually means Flynn might have a chance here if they both end up passing out and he's able to complete all of his other tasks. But Luigi is pretty far for his shower and he is flirty. Luigi has gone through to the next round, which sadly means we have two more Sims eliminated. First person to be eliminated, Flynn Fairwind. Unfortunately, this pirate could not stand the salty seas and kept getting out of the swimming pool. His repair skills are real tardy and he just could not do it. And seeing as he still has the most task left, I am going to say he did come in last. Compared to Rip, who almost passed out in the shower and he had to step out for a second. Luigi is flirty. Luigi moves to the next round. Right, these are our final five contestants over here. A lot of them are dressed in the wrong outfits, which I will fix in the next episode. Over here, we have Luigi, who is very hungry, but he made it by the skin of his teeth, and I'm very proud of him for staying in the game after everything that has happened today. We have Brynjolf over here, ready to go to bed in his pajamas, not looking too happy and a tad bit smelly. Over here, we have Pablo in the exact same boat. We have Harbour, who is looking nice and clean in his swimming outfit, I believe that is. And lastly, we have Neville Longbottom, who I am personally rooting for because I am such a Harry Potter nerd. But I'm going to try not to be biased. Um, I think all of the contestants are great contestants and I would be lucky with whoever ends up winning these challenges. Right, there is just one more thing to do before we end the episode and that is to transfer Sims to a different household. We are going to add two more sims to the Forever Alone household and sadly that is going to be Rip Grunt and Flynn Fairwind. Along with those two sims being added to the household, we are going to add an extra two simoleons to represent their leaving. That is all I have for you guys today. So this was a very interesting episode. I have been recording for almost an hour and I know that I probably would have cut out half of the waiting time but that rubber ducky story was absolutely insane. Um, I don't know if the Sims got stuck or why that was happening, 
but I think I'm definitely going to be deleting the uh, bottom arena just so that there's less items on the lot and hopefully that means that the game will run a bit smooth because I feel like that kind of impacted it a little bit but at the end of the day we got our answer <laughs> We have our final five and I will see you guys in the next episode where they'll be competing to see who will win my heart in the end. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next episode which is tomorrow. Goodbye guys.